first and foremost, I think you have to be an effective leader, you have to have a vision of where your society needs to go. And then you have to have the ability to attract good people to work with you because no one individual can get, that, get anything achieved by themselves. And then through that, you've got to have the ability to communicate what your vision is and how it relates uh, to the betterment of other people's lives. Perhaps most importantly is someone who listens, mm -hmm. who has the ability to hear what's being said both at the obvious surface level and beneath that. Um, that's really critical uh, in a leader. One who has the capacity to take uh, various ideas and shape them into a vision that uh, is compelling mm -hmm. and causes people to want to follow. Our compassion, you know, and understanding for the plight of others, and uh, so that becomes sort of the the charge that makes you do what you do uh, on a regular basis. Um, I think one of the most important qualities is someone who's able to build consensus in a way that everyone feels like it's a win, even if they didn't get their way. <laughs> if that makes sense, so someone who's able to kind of listen to all sides, um, bring all sides together, and then figure out what is the best conclusion. Um, and I think the ability to be able to do that means that you're able to be a very good listener, means you're able to also um, be empathetic in the sense that you're able to understand both sides of an issue, an argument, conflict, whatever the case may be. Um, but you're also able to bring the sides together so once that decision is made, they're still continuing to be able to work together because I think that's really important. For me, a highly effective leader begins with integrity, that if you don't have integrity in some of those core values, such as integrity, I think there's not much hope you're going to be a highly effective leader for a long period of time. So another piece for me for a highly effective leader is you sustain it. So there's sustainability about that, that someone has the integrity, sustains their work over a period of time. I always say that you, you never judge a leader until they've been gone for 10 years then you can look back and say, did they have a real impact? You know, it's easy to, to come and get everyone excited and, oh, here we are, but 10 years from now, <clears throat> are, is that impact still there? Is it still happening? The notion of being able to bring people together. Um, and when I say bring people together, I mean to form collaborations. Because a leader, I think what a leader can really do is inspire other people to bring their best to the table. Mm -hmm. And when you inspire each individual to bring his or her best to the table and you get them to work together, that's what, that's bringing out the best in everyone else. In my mind, a highly effective leader, number one, looks out for many instead of a few. Um, they tend to look out for a broad audience and think about what's better for the group that they're serving rather than themselves. Um, it's also probably someone who is building consensus within an organization, um, who is always looking toward the future, and thinking about how to get there and bring people along with them. One that uh, doesn't mind getting their hands dirty, doesn't mind leading by example. Able to facilitate the success of the people they're working with. And that can happen in a variety of different ways. People have different styles, they have different approaches, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to whether or not uh, you can uh, make the organization, the group of people, whoever you're working with, be more successful than they would be otherwise. Empathy, too, for people that they're trying to meet and um, understand that people may not always see it the way they do. And um, taking that into account and trying to help people, um, you know, get over those types of things and, and get them moving in the same direction. A person who has the respect of uh, peers, uh, but also subordinates, um, who has a collaborative leadership style, both mm -hmm. within and outside of the organization. Risk taking. The people skills uh, to make uh, organizations function. Uh, I think strategic thinking is really key. Very motivational. Uh, somebody that's able to assess their 
resources, uh, somebody that understands their weaknesses, uh, somebody who has uh, courage and perseverance. Tell the truth. You know, I expect this person to be as honest uh, and as straightforward as they can about what their mission and what their intentions are and, and what they're, where they're going and what they're trying to do. I think that's, and that, that wraps into, you know, honesty, integrity, all those types of things I think are probably wrapped into that statement as well. Integrity. Someone with principles. Certain level of intelligent. You don't have to be brilliant, but intelligent. A little more than common sense and courage. I think there are really two sets of qualities that uh, a leader needs. One set you might think of as transactional, which has to do with being able to set goals, hold people accountable, create the metrics and the reward systems in order to make something work, in order to make a business work, an organization, a program work. And those are kind of foundational. You can get those in any good management school, you can get it on the job training, you know, because we have a lot of leadership development that's geared at how do you do those things. The other side of the coin is less analytical and more relational or emotional. And it really has to do with how a leader deploys himself or herself and becomes an instrument of the very change that they're trying to make. So it's who I am and how I show up and the way I communicate, the way people experience me, my um, ability to paint a compelling positive image of the future that aligns with my values and the values of the people who uh, I'm leading um, and working with. Uh, so I call that transformational aspects of leadership. So those are the two skills and styles that I think any, any leader needs 